Yo Internet, Zeal here. Very happy to announce the um, release of Visible 2, the beta version of Visible 2. Visible um, is a suite of Macs for Live devices and in Visible 2 they've all been completely rewritten to um, make use of some of the new features in Mac 6, um, specifically Gen. So all of the effects run on the GPU, they run really fast and in fact they run a lot faster than the standard Visi modules. This device here is a grabber which just pulls in your webcam feed. Um, this device here is a viewer. The viewer is very important in the visible suite. The viewer is a hub that um, renders out all the um, video and effects in your chain, um, gives you this window to work with, sets the resolution of all your devices, lets you turn preview windows on and off, which is good for keeping the frame rate high. Um, things like that. Dunk. So this is a fish eye, and let's look at automating some of these effects inside live. So I've got some stuff happening over here. I think this amp parameter is something that we're going to want to play with. Um, we want a max for live envelope follower. Let's map this to our parameter. And we're doing something, not quite what we want. So we'll just tweak until we get something that we're after. Yeah, there we go. One of the devices in Visible is the MIDI grid. Now the MIDI grid just takes um, any MIDI input and um, converts it into white squares. It's actually built for a Novation launch pad. And let's use the routing. So I'm going to send this out to video one over here in my video channel. I'm going to drop in a mixer and I'm going to combine um, this with video 1. There's our MIDI grid. Maybe let's arpeggiate this. Alright, something's happening. Um, let's add an effect, again, this is a two-toner, um, and let's add another effect, so what about scope, um, let's send this out, video two, maybe make it this one, video two, So that's the audio waveform of our marimba. This is a dirty feeder. This um, creates some interesting feedback effects with a um, XY offset. Hey, we're getting somewhere. And maybe one more thing. Let's add an air. Uh, let's add a hue shifter. Um, so last but not least is the uh, Super Play module. The Super Play module is the uh, video triggering device in Visible. Um, I'm going to take my MIDI from the Marimba channel and let's drop in a Super Player. So the Super Player should look pretty familiar. It's modeled around the drum rack. Um, and we're going to pipe this out, video 3. Now we need some videos. So one thing to note about the, um, about the super player is you need to drag videos in, is you need to drag videos in from your file system. You can't do it through the Ableton browser. Um, the video should be quick time and a good rule of thumb is to use the photo JPEG codec at about 
that gives you um, a really fast video. So I'll just drop some of these videos in. So maybe you want, I suppose it doesn't matter for the moment. All right, that should do. Let's come back to our mixer, grab video three, pipe it in. Video! Um, and I think if we grab our mixer and just drop it down here, and turn our effects back on, we're now using that video as our input. So there we go, that's basically visible too. There are lots more devices in there. There's an effects template um, with a little uh, gen device in there. So if you've got gen, you can create your own effects. Give it a download, give it a go. If you've got any ideas, hit me up. Um, there's a Google group for users of these devices and um, the V module suite, and basically anyone working with video in Max for Live. Um, you can join us there, um, nerd out. You can talk to us about this video routing system that we've got, which actually lets us pipe video between um, all of our video devices, between Visible to any other device that's using um, this framework. Yeah, join us, have a play, get making video. Um, let's put some VJs out of work. Thanks for watching.